All right, I'm gonna attempt to show the full process of pulling a shot on this uh, La Pavone Euro Piccola. So, very beginning, I have a two switch model because mine doesn't have a pressure stat. So make sure both boiler heater elements are on. So that's the two on the switch and then flip the power on. So this is gonna take a while to warm up. So while it's warming up, I do a couple things to prep. Um, under here, the uh, filter screen or the, the rain screen, whatever it's called, um, this will get grounds on it from, you know, the last shots that you pulled. And there's also a gasket under there that seals between the porta filter and the, uh, the wash screen. So I'll just take like a crappy old toothbrush and go around the outside of it just to dislodge any of that. And then just a microfiber cloth and just give it a quick little wipe so all the grounds there's no more grounds on it. And while it's heating up, I always do my put my beans in the grinder right before I grind them. Just so they're not sitting in there. And these are the last of my coffee beans from Hawaii, the Kona blend. Or no, I don't think it's a blend, but yeah, that's pretty good. Expensive as shit, but... Whatever. Also, just take your little coffee ground cup, whatever this is called, and give it a quick little wipe, because I don't... I'm not great about washing this out every time I pull a shot. So... Again, mine doesn't have a pressure stat built in, so it doesn't shut off automatically. The only thing to limit the pressure in the in the tank is the ball valve, uh, the pressure release valve. And my pressure release valve let it get to about, um, I think it gets about to 10 PSI, which is about 0 0.7, 0 0.6 bar. Um, so once it hits there, you'll hear the pressure release valve just, it'll just be stuck completely open because there's so much pressure in there. Um, and that's about the right temperature, six bar, 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 bar, I feel, um, where the water is the right temperature to get a good extraction on your shot. Um, I'm not grinding my espresso yet because if you can see on here, I don't know if this focus is right, but um, there's a little bit of leftover coffee um, that dried to the bottom of this, whatever this is called, dosing cup? I don't know. And so what I do is I just wait for this to come up to temperature a little bit, and then I'll spray the steam wand on the bottom just to rin rinse it off. So if you do have a machine with a pressure stat, um, it's not, it's, it's a bit trickier to tell when it's fully at pressure by sound. Um, so you'll just have to look at your pressure gauge if you have one and see when it's pegged at whatever target pressure you have it set for. Or you can hear the boiler click on and off too with one of those pressure stat machines. But mine, you can hear when it's at full pressure because it just starts spurting steam out of the out of the uh, pressure release valve, which honestly is kind of nice because I can go do other things and wait for it to heat up and then I know when it's ready. One of the problems that you get into with these machines if you let them get too hot is they'll, you know, theoretically with the pressure stat, um, it keeps the boiler temperature at the right temp, but that doesn't prevent the group head from getting overheated necessarily so the water might be the right temperature but it keeps feeding heat into the group head and there's nothing to there's nothing to keep the group head cool so um, once this group head gets too hot you're basically 
screwed. You have to you have to turn the machine off and let it cool down, or you can get like a wet rag and try to wrap it in it, or sometimes purging a little bit of water through it will cool it down a little bit, but my, in my experience, it doesn't cool it enough and it keeps, it still stays way too hot. So, Pavonis are hard because they're really unforgiving. And once this group head again gets too hot, that's, I mean, you, it's basically only good for one shot. Um, and then you gotta let it cool, which might take 15, 20 minutes, and then you can pull another shot. Um, so anyway, my point is, if you let your machine run for too long and it's at full pressure, this group head starts to heat up. Like right now, it's starting to get warm. Um, and if you just let this sit for 30 minutes, which would be a terrible idea anyway, because it'll just sit here steaming, this group head's going to be scorching hot and you won't be able to pull a good shot. So there's a, there's a bit of a sweet spot when you got to pull a shot on one of these without it getting too hot. I guess mine gets up to about, mine gets to about 0.9, maybe one bar, so about 14 psi. And you can see the steam is releasing, so it's about ready to go. So now what I'll do is I'll just spray this real quick. And wipe it, just to get the residue off. And now I'll grind my beans. And I knocked out the old, the old grinds that were in there, so it's just fresh. So here's what I do. I get my port of, or my coffee ground thing over overflowing just a little bit, and I just take my finger and kind of level it off gently. I'm not pressing it or anything. I'm just leveling it. And my, my rubber mat is being cleaned. But then what I do, and this, you know, technically isn't the best way to do it, but I don't have like a grind disperser thing or whatever. So I just give it a couple taps like this to kind of settle everything. make sure it looks pretty even and then I'll tamp it so you can see it's maybe got I don't know six millimeters of gap there and I'll take my tamper and I run my fingers kind of around the edge of it and just feel the evenness as I push down brush off the top, make sure that that's clean, because this is where the seal with the gasket is up inside of here. So you want that to be nice. Um, and probably about a centimeter is how much space there is between the grounds after they're tamped in the top. And so I turned this switch down to the just one boiler because I wasn't quite ready for it yet and I didn't want it to be blasting hot. Um, the group head's actually just about good right now okay so what we need to do is before you pull a shot always purge this so put a, something underneath it and just give it a quick little just a quick little blast and that gets rid of any air that's stuck in the in the group head before you put the portafilter in so i got the basket and the portafilter put it in here and i'm just gently keeping it loose right here i'm not sealing it yet uh, I put my shot glass under there, and the reason for this is because um, we don't want to seal yet. What we want to do is we want to keep that that coffee ground bed nice and compact. And when you on a pavone on a lever machine, as soon as you lift this lever up, there's suction happening in there, and it, it'll disrupt the uh, the ground bed. So if this is sealed, it might suck up some of the grounds and kind of um, mess up the bed. So what we want to do is we want to keep it loosely in there. There's no water in yet. The water goes in about, I don't know, 75% of the way up. So we pull it up a little bit like this just before the water comes in and you'll get the hang of that. And then we lock the portafilter in like that. So that there's just a little tiny bit of suction left over. And then what we'll do is we'll pull it all the way to the top and start counting. One, two, three, four, 
five and it's pre-infusing and about five I start gently pulling down just to get a little bit of drips coming out right about 10 11 12 13 and then I go all the way to the top again 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 and you see my I always have a problem with this but um I have a problem with my, uh, I get channeling all the time in these pucks, and I think it's just because of, I don't entirely know, but um, depends on the beans and the grind size and uh, all sorts of stuff, I guess. And also, my grinder kind of clumps a little bit when it, when it grinds, so I don't have the best track record of not getting channeling, which means that your, your puck's not getting fully extracted properly, but anyway... Um, that's a shot, and then always give it a quick little mix before you drink it, because when you pull a shot, there's different kind of layers of viscosity as the water goes through the puck, and so it'll be layered in your glass too, so if you mix it up, then you'll get a nice good homogenous That's a pretty good one. But yeah, I don't know. I got to figure out the channeling thing. Maybe if people have suggestions on how to make that better. But, um, you know, there's my puck when it was done. I can... It's going to be hot. But... It was pretty well extracted. I, I just don't know why. Anyway. That's it.